Hey folks, how's it going? Tim here. Uh, this is just a really quick impromptu video. I want to show you what I'm doing to use my solar wax melter. Really cheap, inexpensive way to use the power of the sun to melt some beeswax. And I'm primarily melting wax that came from older frames that the bees used to raise their, their baby bees in. So this is called brood frames or brood wax. Cocoons or the casings of the young larva are sometimes inside the cells. So usually the wax is more difficult to, to melt in a large amount if you're using a solar melter. So tip number one, don't add too much brood wax at one time. It's better to add maybe one frame of wax and the smaller particles or the smaller pieces you can get the wax into, the better. So tip number two that I'm finding that works really well is to freeze your wax before you put it in the melter. Check it out. Some of you may have seen my previous videos uh, before. This is a cheap chest freezer. I got a scratch and dent unit. Um, I forget how much I paid for it. If you invest in a dedicated freezer for your beekeeping stuff, it's gonna make life a lot easier. You're never gonna have issues with space. Obviously, you can't put a ton of frames in here, but I can put an awful, you know, probably 20, 30 frames. Anyhow, what I do is inside here, you'll see I have some old frames that have brood wax in it. I put my comb into buckets and I collect the comb in bags. So once the big pieces of comb like this are frozen, all I do is I kind of crush it in or crush it up. See this crumbles. That crumbles very nicely when it's frozen. So what I like to do is I go from a bag, freeze it first. Once it's frozen, I just kind of crush it with my fingers. I don't try to be too perfect, just get it into smaller sizes. It doesn't have to be a fine powder. But just the, the smaller particles you can get the, the wax in, the easier it melts. After I do that, I'll fill this container up with the crushed wax, and then we'll take it outside. Okay, and here you'll see my wax melter. Um, what it is is just a cheap styrofoam cooler. There is a piece of thin metal. You'll see how it's kind of slanted there. And this is really, you can't really tell in the, in the video, but it's slanted forward. So as a wax melts, it's going to drip off of that little spout there. And on the inside, I have a bread pan, an aluminum bread pan that just has water in it. So this is the wax that I've collected in this container. Um, when the wax melts, all the stuff, the gunk that's left over, um, it'll melt, so I leave it out there for a good day or two, and then I'll lay it out like this so the bees can kind of forage on it. And you'll see we got bees on it already. So we're just gonna add this inside here. This is just a piece of glass. Now, those of you out there that are trying this, maybe you started with a um, picture frame. Uh, if the picture frame is using a real glass, it'll work well. But it, it, uh, most of the picture frames I've found, it's not real glass. It's like a hard plastic that kind of resembles glass. And that just does not, um, it doesn't work as well. Okay, folks, and just to better elaborate a little bit on this setup, um, again, I'm using a styrofoam cooler. You can probably find these coolers at any, any big box store, uh, possibly even supermarkets. The glass is probably gonna be your biggest piece of challenge. Again, um, a window, if you have a junkyard, if there's an abandoned home somewhere, uh, if you can safely get the glass out without cutting yourself, it's handy. This is probably going to be your most difficult or most expensive part to find. And then the piece of metal, um, you can ask for it. Uh, Ace Hardware store, any big box store. Uh, just bendable metal, uh, flat metal, uh, sheet metal. Uh, I don't know if you'd want to ask for flashing. Um, anything that's somewhat sturdy that you can bend that keeps the shape is pretty much all you need. And again, you bend it at an angle and the cocoons will stay up here on the edges. The wax will melt down and collect in the center. So you have to angle this up so the wax will pour out the bottom. 
So don't overthink it. I lined the inside of the cooler with just some aluminum foil, tape the edges. Doesn't have to be perfect. You do kind of want the glass to sit flush on top of the cooler. You don't want the heat to escape. Again, the heat buildup inside is what helps the wax melt. Too large of a cooler might not be that as effective, but again, if you have a really intense sun, it, it might help. But I'm using a really small cooler. You can make two of these for really cheap if you have enough glass to do it. And then you'll see once the stuff melts, you can scrape it off. I use a simple, just a putty knife or a, a flat knife. You'll see we got the bees already forging around it. And I just lay the, the leftover wax out here. Look at all the bees. Again, the bees love it, so you don't have to throw it out. What I'm thinking I'm going to do is I'm going to get a smaller container and I'll put pieces in there and I'll pack the pieces down to make little discs and then I'll use those little discs as swarm lures but this is what we got for now I got another thing of wax here that's all nice and frozen and crushed up and we're gonna go ahead and place it in there and we'll do another melting so you see that's all there is to it again the trick to make it most effective is to have a freezer I know if you don't really have a standalone chest freezer, it can be more difficult, but if you can afford enough space, a triple bag, you know, use small garbage bags, put some brood comb in a bag, inside of a bag, inside of another bag, wrap it up real tight, let it freeze, and then just crush it up. Give this method a shot. You can make a larger version if you want. Uh, I found the smaller version works fine for me. Sure, it takes a little longer, but if you do this multiple times a day, you can melt a lot of wax. Okay, folks, and uh, this is what we end up with. Again, it's not absolutely perfect, um, but for little effort where you can just put wax in a container and walk away, um, this is really, really good. Uh, you'll see how you know yellow and nice and clean the wax is. Now, here's another tip. Um, a lot of people, specifically those that are into candle making, um, there is a market for bleached wax or white wax uh, sometimes I believe they make it out of paraffin wax uh, but for beeswax what I learned from another beekeeper out there is if you lay this out in the Sun the longer this sits out in the Sun the lighter it'll get so you can actually solar bleach this wax to turn it a lighter whiter color and again you would just leave it or I would just leave it in the bread pan and just let it let it keep on cooking in the sun basically and it will change color but I really don't care for white wax right now at this stage of the game I just want to melt my wax that I'm collecting so this is great this can be further refined as well you'll see again this only came from maybe a frame I really don't know how much crushed um, frozen wax it equates to maybe a frame or two but a little bit goes a long way. Again, I hear all the time, uh, brood wax isn't worth saving, blah, blah, blah. Nonsense. If you got the time and if you have the right setup, it's real simple. It might be a little easier in my area because I'm in southwest Florida. It's a sunshine state, so lots of hot, 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 long sun. But uh, I just wanted to show that to you guys. Uh, give you a heads up on you know just an option I really don't think I did a video before on my solar wax melter so there you go okay and then just to kind of further elaborate what I'll do is after <clears throat> I collect a bunch of these little cakes to further refine it and make it easier uh, from Man Lake uh, at uh, manlakeltd.com they're a beekeeping supply shop uh, from time to time they run special sales uh, it's called a Bee Buck Blast, uh, and I caught a sale and I bought this unit. What this is, is this is a pot. You can see it has a spigot on it. You know, a nice, nice spigot where the wax can be dispensed from. And this is a contained unit specifically for melting up to 10 pounds of wax. So I bought this specifically so I can accumulate these put it in the in the melter this will plug in with um, just normal power it just plugs into an outlet and just like a griddle you know it has a, a thermostat 
I'll seldomly ever be going above 200. I'm sure it's going to be somewhere between warm and 200. But anything above too hot of a temperature, the wax will boil, it can catch on fire. Uh, so this is something I wanted to try to, you know, really control the heat. We got nice directions here. So, uh, there it is, right? The directions say, follow the directions, the wax will disgutter. Flashpoint is 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, yeah, I'm not going to go that high. <laughs> so that's all for now, folks. Thanks again for tuning into the video. It's hot as heck out here in Florida. It really makes it difficult to get outside and do some inspections and removals. I'm trying my best to stay hydrated and uh, not get heat stroke. Freaking hot out here. So I hope you have fun with your bees. Stay cool out there, and I'll see you on the next video.